Welcome, my name is Ryan. I'm also known as RM2K Dev, and that's totally a lie. I'm just kidding. My name is actually Benjamin, and Ryan, if you don't know who Ryan is, uh, he runs a YouTube channel very similar to mine. And we've been talking recently, and we decided to do a series together. And we're pretty excited about it because we're going to talk about the Game Maker uh, Studio Manual that comes with Game Maker. We're going to show you guys some of the neat little tricks that are kind of hidden, uh, hidden little tricks that you might not know about from the manual that we've discovered over the years. And we're going to trade off videos. So this video is going to be done by me. And the next video is going to be done by Ryan or RM2K Dev. And I'm going to put a link right here in this video. Um, you can check out his channel, go subscribe to him. If you haven't yet, you'll definitely want to do that because he's got quite a bit of experience with Game Maker and he makes really, um, really great videos. He uh, often uses physics in his videos, which is kind of different from what I do. I rarely use physics in mine. So it's uh, an area that um, you can learn more about through his videos. So we're going to help each other out. This video will be done by me. The next video will be done by him. And we'll just keep alternating like that. This idea, the idea to go over the Game Maker manual was given by one of his viewers. And I don't know the name of that individual. So I'm sure Ryan will cover that in his video. So be sure and check that out. Um, the link to the next video in the series will be at the end of this one. And they're also going to be very short videos. So let's jump right in. The first thing, uh, or the only thing I'm going to talk about in this video is called a macro. Game Maker has these things called macros. And if you're familiar with other programming languages, a macro is the equivalent of a constant. Meaning it's a variable, well not a variable, but it's like a variable, only you can't change the value during the game. You can, you can change it and set it to whatever you want before the game is running, but while the game is running, it can't ever change. So you would use a constant for things like your company name, um, the game name. These are things that will never change um, during the game, right? Or maybe your game does, but most games... They won't change during the game. So it's good to have them set up. And then they're like variables, kind of like global variables and that you can use them anywhere in your game. Uh, some of the most important things from the manual, I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but uh, the only symbol that they can use in the variable name or the constant name, the macro name is an underscore. And so you can't use any other symbols other than underscores. So, and uh, you can, uh, one of the things that they're good for is uh, creating colors too, because Game Maker has some built-in colors, but you might want to add to those colors and make your own. So let's minimize this and actually use some macros. So you can see I've created a sprite here that says, click me, it's a very compelling button. You have a strong urge to click this button. Um, and I've also created an object that has that button as a sprite. So we're just gonna add an event add a mouse left pressed event and uh, we're going to drag over a, well actually first um, so if you come over here on the left hand side you'll see in the resource tree there's this place called macros so you can come down here and go to the default one and you can add in new macros here you can see um, I already had one added in before, but let's add in another one. So we'll do add, and that gives us a new available slot where we can create a macro. And let's say, let's say in your game, your character has a set name and it's never gonna change and his name is Sam. So we're gonna say, um, player, well, let's see. There, and his name is Sam. So you create this macro, all you do is type in the identifier for the macro and then the value for the macro and this actually needs to have quotes around it because it's a string. So we're gonna put quotes around that name. Pretty sure it needs to have quotes around it. Yep, it does. 
Um, so I've created this macro called character name and I can now use that name anywhere in my game. Um, you'll notice that I did it with all caps and that's because generally in other programming languages um, constants are defined with all caps so that you know it's a constant. Um, you don't have to do that but I would highly recommend that you distinguish your macros or constants from your other variables in some way and I've chosen to do that by making it all caps. So yes, we'll save changes to the macro. Let's come into here, we'll add this event, mouse, left pressed, we'll drag over a code and I'm just gonna show a message. So nothing too fancy, show a message. And we'll do message show, sorry I got that backwards, show message and we'll do the character's name. Oops, we'll use double quotes so that we can have the single quote there for the apostrophe. Character's name is, and then and our double quotes plus character name. And you can see it even comes up saying it's a constant and it's my own constant that I've created. And then we'll end our parentheses. And we should be able to, I've already put this object inside of a room. So let's run the game real quick. And we'll be able to see if that variable works, if the constant works, and if it actually shows the character's name this time. And like I said, character's name might not be what you choose to use a macro for, but colors. Colors are a good thing if you need different colors in your game and you don't want to be typing out, um, trying to make colors with red, green, blue values every time you need to, you can create some of your own set colors there. So if we click, it says the character's name is Sam. So that works great. Uh, and that is basically macros. They're pretty simple, nothing too complicated for them. Um, I would recommend using them for any type of, um, not variable, but any type of constant that you need in your game that's not going to change. You should use macros uh, because it's just better. It's better programming practice. So thank you guys for watching so much. Um, if Ryan's video is out, there'll be a link right up here to go to the next video in the series. Um, but there's also going to be a link right here where you can go check out his channel and be sure and subscribe to him. So thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys later.